So let's check out when we have a collision of two objects where the objects stick together. So imagine a situation where I haven't seen Andrew in a while or Luke in a while and I'm really happy to see them and I run up behind them and give them a big bear hug and it really makes us both fall together and we, we combine as a single mass. In that situation, you're still dealing with the conservation of momentum, but instead of having two objects after the collision, we only have one. And this one common object has a common velocity. So what we see is, oh, there he is. when two objects collide and stick, Together, you said to have a common velocity. So, if you have these two objects that are initially separated and then they collide, and after the collision they stick together, they are said to have this common velocity and then a combined mass. So our equation setup for the conservation of momentum still looks the same to begin with. We have two separate objects, MA and VA, and MB and VB. So there's momentum for object A, there's momentum for object B. This is before they collide, nothing really different from what we've seen so far. But when we go to the right hand side of the equation, the after situation, I can't have two objects. So I express it as M a, B, that would be the combined mass of the two objects, and then V, A, B, with the prime representing their common velocity, their single common velocity after the collision. So the example I've given you today uh, involves football players, no weird creepy teachers running behind the student giving them hugs. So an 85 kilogram football player is running at 9.00 meters per second. They catch another player who only has a mass of 73.0 kilograms who is trying to run away at 6.5 meters per second. Actually, now I come to think of this, maybe this is more accurate, like Andrew and Luke trying to run away if they saw me running towards them. But anyway, I digress. If the players stick together after the collision, what is their common velocity going to be? So I would say object A is the first, um, the first football player. So their mass, MA, is 85.0 kilograms. Their initial velocity, VA, uh, is 9.00 meters per second. I need to designate a sign. I don't really indicate otherwise. Let's just say positive. Let's just go with that. Uh, the mass of the second football player is 73.0 kilograms. And their initial velocity is in the same direction. So it's also going to be positive. It's positive 6.50 meters per second. Now the afterwards, the MAB, that's their combined masses. So I add together 85.0 kilograms, 73.0 kilograms, and I have 158.0 kilograms, and I want to know what their common velocity, V A B prime, is going to be. An unknown in meters per second. So I set my equation like I had here on the left hand side, M A V A plus M B V B equals M A B V A. That's just A. V A B prime. So football player A, football player B, the two of them combined. So to find their common velocity, V A B prime, I'm just dividing this side of the equation by the mass that is common to the two of them. I'm putting what I'm solving on the left hand side because we like to read left to right. M A V A plus M B V B over M A B. And it's a matter of just plug and chug now, throw your values in 85.0 kilograms times the positive 9.00 meters per second and the 73.0 kilograms and their velocity of positive 6.50 meters per second. Got to make sure I don't run to the edge of the board. And M A B 158.0 kilograms plug all this stuff in, deal with the significant digits when we're done, we get a value of positive 7.84 meters per second. That is their common velocity as they collide together as one object and continue along 
in the same direction.